Good morning. My name is Sierra Watt, and I will be providing an overview of the key findings of a recently published review on the health impacts of native-themed mascots within academic peer-reviewed peer literature. The review, 20 Years of Research into the Health Impacts of Native-Themed Mascots, was recently published in the research journal American Indian and Alaska Native Mental Health Research last month. Overall, the review found that research into native-themed mascots defined to include team names, images, and logos, as well as game day and fan rituals, showed detrimental impacts on the health of American Indians and Alaska Natives. Next slide, please. Despite continued pressure, native-themed mascots persist at the elementary, secondary, collegiate, and professional sports team levels. There has been a number of high-profile public opinion polls released showing a wide range of diverging views on these mascots and their impacts. Therefore, our research team, including myself, Dr. Ian Record, and Dr. Yvette Rubido, began this project to systematically examine what research existed and what that research revealed about the impacts of these mascots. The review was conducted as a scoping review, which is used to clarify research questions and better define the state of research within a specific field. The review used the National Institute on Minority Health and Health Disparities Research Framework, which outlines how a variety of social determinants at the individual, family, community, and population levels can impact overall health disparities. Next slide, please. The review analyzed research articles on native-themed mascots during a 20-year period ranging from 1999 to 2019. Thousands of articles were screened for part possible inclusion with 26 articles fitting the review criteria which were ultimately included. Within the articles, 41 individual tests or studies were conducted. The review included studies uh, involving American Indian children and Alaska Native children, American Indian and Alaska Native adults, and studies including a, a variety of racial and ethnic groups. Overall, the review documented research showing impacts harmful to the health of American Indian and Alaska Native individuals and communities. Next slide, please. There were five primary findings within our review of existing research. For the past 20 years, research on native-themed mascots generally shows that they cause direct health impacts, as well as impacts that contribute to overall American Indian and Alaska Native health disparities and have the potential to harm American Indian and Alaska Natives across their lifetimes with some outlier pu publications. We organized the research findings into three main categories. The research found harmful impacts in three, uh, for three different research participants. For American Indian and Alaska Native children, research on native-themed mascots was shown to result in native, uh, negative impacts to belief in oneself and community. Um, for American Indian and Alaska Native adults, research findings included hampering American Indian and Alaska Native students' ability to learn on college campuses, lowering American Indians' belief in their ability to achieve future success, and that American Indian and Alaska Native mascot opponents were subjected to physical abuse and verbal aggression, including spitting and profanity, more frequently than non-American Indian and Alaska Native opponents. For research on a variety of racial eth or ethnic groups, research reviewed found more discrimination in evaluations for hypothetical American Indian and Alaska Native candidates for scholarships and jobs more stereotypical expectations for what tasks a, hypo a hypothetical American Indian would enjoy, and in response to the native-themed mascot issue, some expressed a desire to punish American Indians through the ending of programs or through business boy boycotts. These examples show the ways in which native-themed mascots can result in negative impacts to the health and social determinants of health for American Indian and Alaska Native people. Our second primary finding was that the vast majority of the research focused on multiple racial ethnic groups found that non-American Indian and Alaska Native individuals, in particular white research participants and sports fans, continue to express support for these mascots. However, research has also shown that training interventions can help to shift attitudes. The research has largely been undertaken in the field of psychology, we found, with results focusing on impacts such as discrimination, bias, and stereotyping. We hope that future research can continue to expand to include additional work from other fields and use other methods to explore the impacts from these mascots. 
Our fourth finding was that we found no support to the argument from mascot supporters that native theme mascot opposition comes from a vocal minority of researcher activists. Rather, our review finds that the body of research in the past 20 years has been wit written by a wide array of researchers. Finally, our last primary finding was that the harmful impacts from native theme mascots are not limited to names and images, but also include harm caused by game day and fan rituals. Next slide, please. This comprehensive review of the impacts of native theme mascots adds support to the growing voice that native theme mascots are not just offensive, but that they cause harm to American Indian and Alaska natives, as well as tribal nations. This review on 20 years of research of native themed mascots shows that the evidence is clear. These mascots cause harm and contribute to health disparities and their discontinuation is still needed. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you so much for your time and allowing me to share some of this research with you. And for more information, please email research at ncai.org or to request NCAI's help at the K through 12 or state levels with native theme mascot remo removal, please email mascots at ncai.org. Thank you.